I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Joe Biden may be looking to stick around the White House. The New York Times reports Biden is considering a 2016 presidential run. And let's face it, despite your political leanings, you got to admit, having Biden in the White House would at least be entertaining. Donald Trump's campaign fired a staffer this week after it was reported the aide made racist rants on Facebook. Trump political advisor Sam Nunberg was fired two days after Business Insider reported a series of offensive posts allegedly made by him. In one 2007 post, the Reverend Al Sharpton's daughter is called the N-word. Another post in 2009, President Obama is referred to as a socialist, Marxist, Islamo-fascist, Nazi appeaser. But thankfully, he didn't use the N-word on that one, so no biggie. More than four tons of garbage was removed from an elderly couple's home in China. It took 12 hours for 20 workers to remove the piles. The husband said current recycling prices are too low, and he was waiting out the market. Be looking for the new episode of Hoarders Money Market Edition this Thursday. Two women have made it to the final phase of training to join the Army's elite Ranger Force. These women were already tough. They used to be substitute teachers. Well, in case you hadn't heard, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis are married. People Magazine reports that, at least. News of their impending divorce is expected sometime next month. Kylie Jenner will be celebrating her birthday next week with a beach party in Canada, where she can legally drink at age 18. And you know, after the year the Jenners have had, I'm sure Kylie can use a drink. A young Russian man who dressed in women's clothes to sit in an exam for his sister was caught after his oversized gut gave him away. Oh, right, like Russian women can't have big guts. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. You can get more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, where you can find me on Spreaker, YouTube, and on iTunes, where you can subscribe, rate, and review the show. You can also like the Facebook page for even more weird stories every day of the week. And also, grab the Daily Dose of Weird News app. It's all there at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. 